Hip arthritis in dogs, especially large breed dogs, can be very disabling for the dog and very costly for the owners. So uh, what I'm gonna show you guys is just a quick way how to check hip range of motion in your dog. Hi. Now depending on the breed of dog, there might be a different angulation in the lumbar spine or the low back. And what this will do is it will alter the way that the dog's hip range of motion is gonna move. So a dog like Bo here, who's a pointer, um, his hip range of motion is gonna be a lot more than say a dog like a Whippet who has a curved low back. So let me show you what a normal hip range of motion should look like. So if you grab underneath the belly of the dog and you hold right here, which is the hip, just by grabbing the stifle or the knee, and if Bo cooperates, stay there, bringing the leg back, there should be no resistance in the dog to extend backwards. Now, if it is arthritic, you're gonna notice that it's painful and it's not gonna go that far. Or the dog is going to resist by uh, using his muscles in his leg to pull back and fight back against you. All that is is a protection mechanism of him trying to protect the joint because if they go further, it's gonna cause pain. So the best thing you can do in order to uh, help the dog is try to prevent this in the pr first place. This is a progressive uh, chronic type disease uh, or condition. And what we see, as long as you keep that range of motion, you can really help that dog uh, be functional as they age. And even if the arthritis is already occurring, as long as you help mobilize that joint and keep movement in there, get the lubricant fluid or the synovial fluid in the joint, lubricating the joint, then the dog will have a much better outcome with the years to come.